All right, finishing up with our walls here. What I'm going to do is kind of zoom in. Let's zoom into this guy here. But this is a trapezoid shaped wall. And you could find that right up here to the right of our circuit of walls. And trapezoid shaped wall in plan view allow us to have a starting width and an ending width. And also a length here. So our starting width is one, our ending width is four. So here starting width one, our ending width is four. And I'm just gonna left click down inside my drawing, drag to the right, and type in 10. Hit enter. That's just that easy. Uh, if you want, let me go into 3D and uh, let's see here. You can see that wall right here. That's the wall we're talking about here. Now, back in plan view, this last one here, uh, I'm going to hit escape and just select it. Now these are right here are just regular old walls that are drawn a foot thick, you know. And it's this weird wall in here, this sort of center segment, if you will, if I go into 3D. It's this part right here that we're interested in drawing. And so what this is gonna what this tool is gonna allow us to do, and the tool is gonna be this tool right here, our wall tool set to be this last one here, the polygonal method, will allow us to essentially draw a wall, I don't know, any shape in plan view. So to do sort of a quick ridiculous example, I can just click a bunch of left click a bunch of points in here and draw a funny shaped wall. Go into 3D, you can see there's our funny shaped wall. Uh, but hopefully you can draw something more elegant than this. Now, in this example here, uh, this is just basically almost an octagon with every other edge curved in, uh, eight inches or so. If you, I'll do that real quick. I know some of you are interested in how I did that. Uh, I just go into the wall tool, set it to this mode right here, and the first thing I do is draw an octagon with sides equaling one foot. So. I know that my angles here are set to be 45 degrees, so that's going to be perfect. So I'm just going to left click to start, drag off to the right, type in 1 for 1 foot, go up 45 degrees, 1, rotate on around, and I'm just going to keep going around, dragging along my reference lines here 1 foot. And by the time I get all the way around, with my eight sides here. Hopefully by the time I get to this last one here and left click, you can see it's right on one foot. And I'm gonna select the arrow tool and we're gonna talk about the, how to do this in more in depth later on. But what I'm able to do is select it, uh, left click right on an edge here and this little palette will pop up right here, and I'm going to choose this mode right here, this second one here on the top, and it's going to allow me to put in an arc radius on these guys, so I'm just going to type in 8 inches, and move all of them in 8 inches. I should say every other one around 8 inches. Let's see, select, click, Eight inches, and the last one here, eight inches. Oh, that last one I dragged a little too far. I just need to drag in a little bit and type in eight inches. That's going to set things in there. Now, for the last part, I just used the wall tool um, set to be a normal wall here with a one foot thickness, and I just drag out to the right here, I don't know, three feet or so and I just noticed our walls clean up nicely. So I'm just sort of adding little pieces of the wall here. Let me click on the top here. Go down three feet. So that's how I did this one. These last parts right here, what we're going to talk about, is uh, different ways of connecting walls. You can hold down shift while you're in the arrow tool and select one wall, another wall, and if you click on this icon right up here, 
intersect, left click it, it's going to make those walls intersect. Another way we can do this is to left click right on this little node here, this little dot, when the wall is selected. And we're in our last mode here, and this little palette that pops up, and I can just drag up to another wall. Notice I get this little funny little symbol, and that's our right angle symbol. And I can just left click right on the wall. And you can practice that more down here if you'd like. So another thing we can do is select one wall and another wall, go up to our fillet right here, and we can say fillet, and I'm just going to type in two for two feet, and you can see that's going to round our wall off two feet. If you'd like to chamfer something, select both of the walls by holding down shift and left clicking on them. Let's make it a chamfer, click OK, and whoops, I had the wrong one selected there. Let me select this one and this one. Go back inside, chamfer, there we go. Uh, the last thing I'd like to show you is how to trim things out. If you hold down the control key on a PC or the command of the, uh, the command key on a Mac and you're in these arrow tool here, you can just hold the key down and you're able to trim things out. So this is very, very handy. Often if people are having a hard time getting walls to connect, say, I don't know, we've got some weird walls crisscrossing or something and they're having a hard time, what I tell them is just snip the wall back and it will help to clean up the intersection. So the next video we'll be talking about slabs over here.